week, something of a heat wave on the way, all due to that area of high pressure, almost a record-breaking high pressure. And it's not going to move very far in the next few days, just meandering around across from close to the British Isles. Gentle winds around it, if you want to tap your barometer and check it, 30.6 inches or so across much of the country. But the big difference is that it's slowly going to get warmer and warmer tomorrow. A couple of degrees up on today in many parts of the country for the very reason that the winds will have eased off, I think. And then we uh, use that little word hot, I should think, by the latter part of the week. So some uh, very high temperatures to come, or much higher temperatures at least. Now today we had interesting area of cloud across us, but uh, once the sun got to work on that during the course of the morning, it very readily broke up, cleared out of the way, virtually gone now. A little bit of patchy cloud you'll notice over western parts of Northern Ireland, just skirting the far north of Scotland, more particularly Shetland. But for most of us, clear blue skies to end the day, a lot of evening sunshine, and a fine clear night to come. Although there will be some patchy cloud, I think, floating back across that southeastern part of the country during the course of the night, as well as some in the western and northern Isles and into Shetland. And perhaps at the end of the night, the cloud in Shetland just about thick enough to give a spot or two of drizzle. Now, surprisingly, it's going to be quite a chilly night in the more northern parts of the country. Lowest temperatures around about 6 or 7 degrees. But in the southeast and where that breeze holds up, so temperatures will be around about 10 or 11 degrees. So tomorrow we might well find some of that patchy cloud again across the southeastern corner to begin with. But I think it will break up even more readily than it did today. So for most of us, it's simply going to be a dry day, virtually unbroken sunshine. A few wisps of cloud perhaps across the more northern parts of the country. More noticeable cloud in the far north of Scotland and the Northern Isles there, but even in those parts there'll be a little bit of sunshine every now and again. Still that northeasterly wind with us, especially across East Anglia and the southern parts of the country, but not as strong as it was. Uh, but nevertheless, it is going to keep those temperatures down along the coast, and it's also going to keep the pollen count down, so that's good news. High pollen count in many other parts of the country, and do watch out because the sun will burn quite readily, 30 to 40 minutes. Temperatures a degree or two higher than today's, but sea breezes around the coast keeping it somewhat cooler, especially along the east coast, and in the days ahead, very little changes, except it gets even 